mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky. Up in the sky. The moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your inner journey weather forecast in which we utilize archetypal astrology to understand the energies in the collective and illuminate how they might show up in our psychedelic journeys this week and in other inward explorations. This week, the week of May 16th through May 22nd. So let's look at archetypal explore to see what energies are up this week. So we've got, we, you can see an archetypal explore here, these peaks of on this graph are the alignments of the planets that be, that go exact this week. So we begin, we have uh, towards midweek, Venus trines Saturn later in the week, Sun square Jupiter, and also Mercury square Neptune. Okay, so let's begin with Venus trine Saturn. So midweek, Venus trine Saturn. Venus, the archetype of love, beauty, the arts, harmony, friendship, good feelings and pleasures of life in a trine, which is a harmonious angle with Saturn, a soft alignment with Saturn, the archetype of the reality principles, the realities of life, the grounding responsibilities and obligations of life. And so when those two come into a soft angle to each other, a soft alignment, it means that there's an ease of flowing together of the pleasure of life and also the heart and the love and the friendships and the reality principles of life. It's a time when we can call on resources inside ourselves that have to do with friendship and those we love having to support each other through the reality checks of life. You know, maybe there's a time of, of a friend who's going through hard times or somebody you love who's going through some challenge of entailed in living in this world of, of beginnings and endings and all the realities and responsibilities and burdens of living in this world. And we show up for that person. There's a sense of that love and responsibility kind of segue and dovetail together in a way that gives a kind of a strength and a backbone and a stately Saturnian responsibility to our love principle. In psychedelic journeys that can show up as a kind of a sober sense of paced perspective on love, a sense of actually feeling like we want to devote some of our responsibility towards those we, we love, feeling a sense of responsibility and not having it be too in our face, just an ease of feeling a sense of responsibility towards those we love. Okay, uh, people born with that alignment, Venus trying Saturn, Tina Turner. So Tina Turner, what's love got to do with it? That's a, a kind of an interesting exploration of these themes because that song, which became famous in the 1980s, I believe, What's Love Got to Do With It is a, is a song where she's asking, there's, she's basically talking about reality, um, the realities of life, and then she's saying, what's love got to do with it? Like, what's, what's a love relationship and partnership got to do with, with navigating these realities of life? And so she's questioning. She's questioning between reality and love, but the whole song is actually a love song. It is actually a love song. So in the end, there is a sense that love does play a role in the realities of our life. Okay, so moving on, we've got Sun squared Jupiter. Sun squared Jupiter right here as we get towards the end of the week. And that is actually a, a, a celebratory transit. That's a hard alignment. That's, that's, uh, an, that means it's more salient. It's more kind of front and center, demanding our attention. Sun has to do with our sense of identity, our sense of energy level. Jupiter has to do with celebration, success, expansivity. So there tends to be a sense of celebrating our accomplishments, celebrating our identity being celebrated at that time. It's great as we're getting into the weekend to have that energy. And also that our, our identity can be expanded out. Like either we travel and we incorporate more into our identity that way, or our actual name gets broadcast out you know, it gets in more people's ears. Sun squared Jupiter, how that can show up in inner journeys is a sense of kind of encountering within ourselves a, a, an accomplishment and a celebratory energy about how far we've come or what we've achieved or our life mission, and also a sense of optimistic looking forward into the future, a sense of what we can incorporate into our identity and our life mission. That's very optimistic. 
very celebratory, celebrating what we achieve, celebrating what is yet to come. Also a sense of judiciousness, a sense that our identity can be linked with um, a sense of fairness. We can be overcome with you know, where we thought we might have wanted to exact some kind of recompense or some type of vindication. We might, uh, during a transit like this, be impelled or feel kind of a soft breeze of judiciousness, feel like, you know what, let all things equal, let me consider all sides and, and let, let's be judicious in this experience. So great energy as we're getting into the weekend, people born with Sun Square Jupiter. The Indian actress Ashwarya Rai is a good example of it. Anybody familiar with Ashwarya Rai? She actually um, became Miss Universe at age, I think she was just age 19 or 20 or something like that. And Miss Universe is a great Sun Jupiter example because that's a moniker, that's an identity. It's associated with an identity like I, my name, Miss Universe. And it's, it's so that's the sun, the identity, but the Jupiter, Jupiterianness is the bigness of it. You know, like I, my name becomes big. I become associated with larger whole Miss Universe. So that's, that's a very kind of patently sun, sun Jupiter combo there. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres born with that combination. Also somebody's name who's kind of expanded, you know, she's got that expansivity to her identity, to her name. It's out everywhere. Uh, so as we continue through the weekend, we have um, a rising energy of Mercury square Neptune and how that is can show up is the sense that the message, either the voice, the speaking or the message or the images and the inspiration, which is Mercury, gets inspired by a kind of sublimeness, a Neptunian sublime divine infusion of inspiration and so that can show up in psychedelic journeys as kind of feeling like channeling a message from the divine, the divine is speaking to us, or that our vision for something becomes infused with divine inspiration. You know, if we have a vision of, of our future, of some project or something like that, it can get infused with this kind of, this Neptunian divine inspiration. It's a time to, the challenges in the way it can show up is confusion around communication, not clear communication. When that happens, we got to set step back internalize the process and get in touch that there's some message wanting to channel through us and it's not linear it's more intuitive and then the usually the communication confusion can clear up somewhat so mercury square neptune people born with that amy winehouse in her it shows up as the voice that has this enchanting quality to it this neptunian kind of enchantingness to it um, also, Bob Dylan and Abraham Lincoln born with this combo. And for them, it shows up in their words, carrying this visionary, inspir inspiring quality of Neptune that can stir the spirit. You know, that's one of the reasons why Bob Dylan is such a popular folk singer, is his words and his images stir the spirit, stir the emotions. They tap into this font of inspiration. It seems like the divi divinely inspired poet, Abraham Lincoln, able to move a nation with that, that inspiring, those inspiring words that are able to kind of tap in and, and make someone feel that, that this is coming from, from a place that's very sublime. So those are the energies that we have this week, kind of a little bit more grounded and reality-based in the center of the week as we get towards the end of the week, a little bit more celebratory and divinely inspired. So I hope you have a wonderful week, everyone, and I hope you are able to reap the fruits of these astrological alignments and of knowing what these astrological alignments are so that when they show up they don't confuse you and you're able to welcome them and reap their fruits thank you so much for joining me i'm james moran i'm an archetypal astrologer and this has been your inner journey weather forecast see you next week